beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed here to create argument but I believe with all my heart I believe in the full gospel and the full gospel captures a dimension of God that is able to deliver and we know that it is God's system to allocate graces to men so I believe that it is possible I believe from the authority of scripture that there is something called a deliverance ministry you'll be foolish to believe in the healing ministry you'll be foolish to believe in the evangelical ministry it will be foolish to believe in the ministry of signs and wonders. We believe that there are people called to minister prosperity, to minister leadership. Why will we reject that there are people specially anointed to minister deliverance? I think it's just because of our resentment. Deliverance is a very messy ministry. It's not a ministry that comes with a lot of organization. Usually, it is presumed that if you are dull and unenlightened, uneducated, and you don't know what to do with your life, you are most likely called into the deliverance ministry. And, and it's not so. Usually people who are posh, nice, excellent, administrative, intelligent, calculated, uh, will usually not receive that dimension of the call. And, and, and I think it's the way it has been done in Nigeria and Africa. Because we have demons shouting, talking, you know. Most, when you see ministers that minister deliverance usually they are unkept shabby unintelligent they don't process their understanding the churches are, are not well cultured and so over time we have adopted an understanding that the messier you are the more unenlightened you are you are most likely called into that ministry there's, there's no such thing as that but i believe there there should be specific people anointed and sent if we don't believe in deliverance ministry, then there shouldn't be a healing ministry. No. Are we together? The second level of deliverance, and like I said, if you believe you are called into the deliverance ministry, this may probably be an area you may want to adjust. It's called deliverance, the deliverance of transformation through the word of God. This is the second level of deliverance. Deliverance of or through transformation. Many people do not know that this is a dimension of deliverance as valid as casting out a spirit. Deliverance that comes to a man through engaging that man's mind and understanding in a process that the Bible identifies as transformation. Herein lies the tragedy behind endless deliverances where a spirit is casted out it goes returns casted out goes returns and then sometimes we build a theology now this is the part of deliverance i do not believe that a believer should become a victim of a spirit forever 
and should have an endless cycle of continual deliverance for life the bible does not show that now we saw that jesus delivered men and they were delivered and delivered completely the apostle paul was delivered are we together the woman with the alabaster box the one who jesus casted out seven devils but you see the thing about Jesus' ministry, and, and I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you something very powerful. The Bible says, the man in Gadara. Let, let's go to that. Let's go to that scripture. Let's look for it. Where is that scripture? Help me. Mark chapter 5. I think I'm right. Give us Mark chapter 5. Say deliverance through transformation. Say it again. Shout it. Deliverance through transformation. Now, this is a very interesting story. The Bible tells us that in the country of the gatherings, Jesus himself, I want to see, um, I want us to read from verse 12 to verse 15. There's something I want to, I want to show you there. Deliverance through transformation. Now watch this. And the devils besought him saying, send us into the swine that we may enter into them. So spirits now at the back of a man's madness are we together and then and forthwith jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into swine and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea and they were about two thousand can you imagine that and were choked in the sea 14 and they that fed the swine follow me now and told it in the city fled sorry and told it in the city and in the country and they went out to see what that was done 15 sitting and clothed and in his right mind jesus didn't just leave him he knew that something needed to be done to his mind too it was not just his spirit that needed to be right so when jesus casted that devil he didn't wave him and say go he said come and join this teaching ministry that will need to transform your mind and the bible says they came and met him sitting in his right mind you can be delivered with a wrong mind are you listening to me now it matters that we must engage this dimension of deliverance the dimension of reorienting our spiritual understanding this one comes through the ministry the teaching ministry of the word is how people experience this dimension of deliverance and i can tell you sincerely speaking this dimension of deliverance is very scarce in the church to teach the word does not mean to declare and to preach we generally say you are a preacher a teacher of a word is an explainer one who brings the saints into a comprehension of the character the person and the working knowledge of the word you have no reason to have weekly gatherings as a man of god if you are not teaching the word you can be an evangelist and come into a land three days win the souls apologize for the sound and i think there's noise somewhere i'm sure they're working on it are we together now you can come in as an evangelist you can come in as a missionary and even stay three months five months within a city but if you ever trust god for a church a ministry a platform where you meet with people consistently then it doesn't matter what spiritual office you operate you must trust god for grace to be a teacher of the word otherwise the saints will never experience this dimension of deliverance say deliverance through transformation this entails reorienting your spiritual understanding this entails opening you up to the nature the character and the systems of the kingdom when your mind is enlightened you are open to the nature of god the character of god then the mysteries the systems the principles of the kingdom is taught you when that happens that door that is a stronghold for demons to access your life is closed and closed once and for all let me give you an instance let's assume that an individual is suffering from the ministry of um let's say there's hardship are we together 
Now, the spirit compromise. He likes to talk about increase, so let me use him. Watch this. Let's assume that this gentleman here has all kinds of hardship in his life. Let's even assume his finances. And now I pray for him because say by revelation I see that there is a spirit behind that tragedy. Did you know that if I pray for him, he may fall down and stand up. He may even experience an instant testimony. By evening, someone will give him maybe a little check or some money, 10,000, 20,000, whatever it is. But this gentleman will not sustainably stay delivered until I teach him the kingdom principle allocated for keeping the spirit of poverty at bay forever. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, I prayed for him. And through the advantage, listen carefully, there is a prophetic covering over him and he may enjoy some level of results by the reason of that prophetic speaking over his life. But for sustainable result, to personally keep the spirit of poverty at bay, he must understand the economic system of the kingdom. Failure to do that will only recycle his pain. It's a matter of time. Notice that demon spirits have observed the carelessness of people in the body, especially men of God, that we are not thorough in creating spiritual enlightenment, so they are not afraid to live. Are we together? So I can look at him before I touch him. Ah, he's manifesting, the spirit goes. And he gets up and he's happy, and I hug him, I say, okay, so go and prosper. It is done. It is not done. I assure you it is not done. Halfway done. That guy, remember the Bible says that spirit will go around and say, I will return to my house. He will come back and find the mental construction of that individual still conducive for his operation. He won't enter alone. He will gather more wicked spirits of poverty, higher than him, and then return to that man. That's why you find out that people receive miracles and breakthroughs. And two weeks later, it looks like everything just knows dives. They refuse to engage in transformation. And sometimes it is members that put that pressure on pastors. They are not trained to sit down and receive the word. We want sharp, sharp everything. Are we together? Man of God, why is my life like this? I, I have watched with shock how that sometimes people can tell me, Apostle A, B, C, D is wrong with my life. And then I tell them, okay, listen to the following messages. And then come and see me afterwards. Maybe listen to gaining spiritual stature. Listen to this and that. And they just say thank you. And sometimes I can even point and say the media stand is there. Just go there and they'll give you the teachings. They will laugh and do as if they are going to turn. And then turn around, just greet and say, sir, just touch my head. That's all me I want. You see that? It's a sign that many of those people may not receive complete deliverance. And the danger is that if they don't receive it, they will go back and then in their frustration, they'll say this man of God may not really be a man of God. Are we together? Have you been to the hospital where a doctor will give you an injection now? There's that one, you take it immediately. You turn and receive it right now. And then he can now tell you, okay, there's this drug. In addition to that injection, take this morning, afternoon, evening for five days. After five days, return back and let me look at your condition. Are we together? Now, if you take that injection, you can decide to go back and be careless. It's amazing how your health is dependent on those drugs. And then you don't take them and after five days, you return and say, doctor, something is wrong. And the doctor said, no. If you did what I told you, I already know what should happen. So I'm surprised that this is not happening. Transformation through the word. He came and met the man in his right mind. Remember that the man later became an evangelist and won the Decapolis, 10 cities, because his mind was right. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, when you read from verse 1 and 2, specifically verse 2, it says, um, and do not be conformed to this world. I've taught you again and again, the Greek word there is the word aeon, the thinking pattern that comes with a dispensation. Do not be conformed to this world. It says, but be ye transformed. Everybody say, be ye transformed. It's not an advice. Be ye transformed. How? By the renewing 
of your mind. Transformation. Renewing your mind is deliverance. It is the scriptural way to close the door that authorizes spirit entities to find expression in a person. Transformation. Transformation. Transformation is the way you become spiritual. A spiritual man is just, it's not just one who prays in tongues. A spiritual man is not just one who serves in church. Listen carefully. A spiritual man is not just one who is ordained. A spiritual man is not just one who is serving in a department. A spiritual man is one who has exalted the word of God. Listen very carefully. And the ways of God above the senses so that man is governed not by his sensory perceptions but by the word of god when the word of god becomes the vista your your plane of looking at life you are a spiritual man you can pray in tongues and ignore the word you are not a spiritual man most times we convince ourselves that just because we find ourselves around dissipating spiritual energy committed in spiritual activities we believe that because we have done that for a long time we are spiritual no that may be religion true spirituality is measured by how much the word of god has not just found expression in your life but has been received and the degree to which you are living by it many people are not spiritual you know it by how they respond to life a little challenge and you see them talking and you are wondering ah after five years in church, ah, I'm stomach pain. I'm dying. Everybody, do. We, ah, bah, no. The word of God is supposed to become a culture, a way of life. It influences your mind. It influences everything about you. The Bible says to be spiritually minded. It says to be carnally minded is death. Not will make you die. It's already death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace he says set your minds above where christ is seated are we together now you can set your gates not by looking up by indoctrinating yourself with the truth of god's word such that you are immovable you are unbendable that's what it means to be spiritual when you are transformed and you experience this dimension of deliverance you now tear down the strongholds that operate in your life through thought patterns. Everybody say thought patterns. Please shout it. Say thought patterns. Check every territory where spirits seem to gain grounds. The way those spirits gain grounds is by making sure they create a mind control system so that the average person within that spiritual climate thinks in a certain way. I'll give you an instance. And please, I don't want you to feel embarrassed or whatever i am not insulting any territory but for instance if you see a territory where there is a high rate of maybe people getting pregnant without marriage you find out that it's not just a wicked spirit that is working there there is also a mindset are we together that a lady of 12 years can be pregnant and the father can say i'm proud of you i mean i can't believe you did this this is this is this is fantastic Meaning by tithing, you have settled the devourer. Yet you find out that that man's life does not change. Call for any kind of meeting that will give financial intelligence. He will look at you and say, no, it's not for us. You can go and uh, if God will bless me, he will bless me. So mindsets. We come from different territories. Some of us come from territories where it is easy for anger to come. Because revenge is part of the way the culture is built. Don't let anybody take you for granted. An eye for an eye. If somebody touches you, give it back to him sevenfold as a sign that you are not weak. So in such cultures, if you don't revenge, you are, you are tainted as being weak. So now you are born again and a brother offends you and there is that itch to revenge. And what a joy. A spirit has found a platform and the spirit of anger comes. And before you know it, you wind your hand and give your wife a slap and suddenly remember that you, you, you are supposed to have crucified the old man at the cross. 
Are we together? Listen, let me tell you. You know you are transformed when it takes a long time to trace you to a culture. Let me say it again. You know you are transformed. Aside from the physiological, the physiological features that can show that, okay, you are Yoruba, you are Hausa, you are Igbo, you are South-South, and all of that. Aside from that, there should be such a level of, of an excellent approach to life based on the word of God. That if it is based on your communication, I should find a hard time knowing whether you are Yoruba or Hausa or Igbo. It's a sign that the word of God has superimposed your culture and your cultural limitation. Sadly, I can look at people and almost in a heartbeat just say, you are from here. Yes, you are from here. Yes. The way you are behaving, it looks like you are from Plateau State. Say yes, sir. Say, huh? They are all like that. The way you are, it looks like Kaduna Abi. You look to me like you are, are you from Delta? I'm from Delta. How did you know? How do I know? Am I, am I mad? That's not a very, that's not an applause. Are we together? Because it's a sign that although you claim to be in Christ, experientially, you are still holding on to the strongholds and the mindsets. Are we together? That your transformation will so shock those around you. They looked at the disciples and they wondered, ah, are this not, what, what suddenly happened to you? They were so changed. One time they wanted to go back to this, their life of war again. They said, Jesus, should we command fire? And Jesus turned and said, do you not know of what spirit? You have suddenly forgotten that you are from heaven. Transformed. Someone will look at you and say, I know you are going to deal with him. I trust people from your place. Abba, this guy is in for a shock. And all of a sudden, you reach out to someone in love and hug the person. And you look and you say, this is strange. You say, this is not strange. I have been called out of every tribe, of every tongue. Listen to me. Of every nation. Are we together? Yes. This is the basis. Let me tell you the truth. And I want to say something now that is, is a bit sensitive, but listen to me. I think that this is the reason why many people, especially our loved ones, fear certain individuals traveling or marrying or living across certain regions. Because they fear that based on the default experience, are we together now? There can be a problem there. And they are right, except for transformation. They are right. Are we together? So someone says, oh, I want to get married to someone from the north. And the mother looks and says, is this, what, is this how you want to repay me? After, after all I've done to you, this is, this is. And then you now say, ah, the man is, is, is even, is, that's why a small church has started a walk. I say, hey, he's even a man of God. It may not be your father or your mother or your relatives' fault. They have observed through time. That goodness, if someone within those regions accept the call, you accept the call and accept the stronghold that comes with that call too, and suffer and almost, you know. But then they are amazed when they see that there is an excellent mind, hallelujah, an excellent mind that vetoes your background. Say, I've been called. Say it, say, I've been called out of my tribe out of my tongue out of my locality I come from heaven I only pass through my geographic territory if you don't understand this then we are wasting our time this night because when we begin to pray we are going to tell Satan it is true that you oppress people from plateau state but I am not from there you see that it is true that you oppress people who are Yoruba people. It is true that you oppress Igbo people. But I only pass through there. My origin. My origin. So you don't tell me, oh, this land was dedicated to this. You may be right. But ah, I've been called. Something called me out of that tribe and tongue. Let me tell you, the fact that whatever is in your territory is still affecting you is proof that it still recognizes your cultural loyalty. Like if you are a football fan, let's assume you are a faithful football fan of, uh, give me one club side. Let me not create trouble now. Arsenal. And you are so faithful that they have your number. 
Even when you say I hate them, you can still get a text from them. There's a meeting tomorrow. It's a sign that they still recognize your loyalty, your fellowship. It's amazing how we keep saying we are not tied to these things and when the spiritual text is sent, you get it. <laughs> the devil says you can talk all your nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, I'm sending a general text of failure to anybody in this family and you are shocked that it reaches you. I said, no, my phone, you shouldn't receive this. That's your business. Your number was in the database. Transformation. 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 To rush to God, receive instant deliverance, and run away from God is only implicating yourself. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Listen, he said the righteous run it to it. It is a he runs in and then runs out and is saved. He runs into it and stays there. He that dwells, not he that visits. He that dwells. Listen, is the reason why many of our loved ones never receive breakthrough. They hate the house of God. So when they hear that there is a special program, they say, well, since you insist, let me visit. And they come and experience the power of God. And then they tell them, be planted in the house of God. Mm, all this church does thing, I'm not, I'm not in it. Please. Then they go back. And then they find out that it's a matter of time. This spirit's coming. Let me tell you, if you are a pastor, this is one of the reasons why you should trust God to have crowds come. It's not numbers. It's that you are giving God an opportunity to transform more minds. It's not all about just trying to look for a name. Oh, overflows here. We are this. I notice that there are men of God who so, I, I, maybe sometimes well-meaning insult crowds and insult pastors with large membership and make it look like it's not all about crowd. My brother, for God so love how many? That sounds like a crowd to me. He didn't say, for God so loved Jerusalem. He didn't say, for God so loved Nazareth. For God so loved Judea. No. It is God's will that all men be saved. And then the Bible tells us that part of our ministry is to disciple nations. Have you heard that word? To disciple nations. To disciple nations. Come from the word discipline. To keep them in a position where they learn. To teach them the matters of the kingdom. You must receive an appetite for the word of God. You must receive an appetite. Members must learn the value of sitting with the word to be mentored and to be trained. I have great respect for churches where the average member already knows the usefulness of sitting down to learn. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. One thing is needful and that Mary has chosen to sit at the master's feet. It takes time to produce results so that your mind is changed, transformed. Are we together? So deliverance through transformation and transformation by the renewing of your mind. The word of God being the principal channel for your transformation. Are you willing to submit yourself to be transformed against culture, against the, the nominal mindsets, the mainstream mindset that comes? Because let me tell you, you become more like Christ when you think like him. That I'll forever be changed and I'll be I'll be chasing after you Not just for two days, not just for one week That I'll forever be changed and I'll be I'll be chasing after you. Pant after his word and pant after his presence day and night. Chapter 1 and verse 8, Joshua, the formula that God recommended for success. He says, this book of the law, so the foundation of a believer's possessing his possession, this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. He says, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. How long? Day and night. Say it after me. 
day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then and only then shall you make your ways prosperous who will make his way prosperous he says and then you will have good success this is God advising a man number three so that we we'll move to the next level the third level of deliverance and this is the final level is called the discipline of conformity write it down the discipline of conformity this is where you actively participate and this is where a lot of dear brothers and sisters around the world miss it the discipline of conformity as a level of deliverance hmm. Romans chapter 8 and verse 13 and then we'll look at Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 Romans 8 13 one to read is projected one to read let's start again for if ye live after the flesh I told you what the flesh is a way of living a way of thinking are we together it says ye shall what but if ye through the spirit so you will mortify but an agency will empower you you are engraced but the doing is you I told you that grace has dimensions not all dimensions of grace work automatically there is saving grace you don't do anything you just receive there is grace that empowers you to do you participate the disciplinary dimension is your responsibility if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body what will happen to you please talk to me you shall live Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8 Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. I mean bribery like corruption, political party. Corruption means death. Death, period, in one word, death. But he that soweth to the spirit, a man can sow to the flesh, a man can sow to the spirit, both are soils, and the Bible guarantees that the harvest is waiting for you. When you walk in bitterness, you are sowing. Oh, dear farmers, listen to me. You walk in bitterness, you are sowing. I'm born again. But what is this guy trying to show me? And you are sowing. And the Bible says a harvest will come. You don't, you don't walk with your wife. You are fighting your wife. You are sowing to the flesh. The harvest is that your heavens will be closed. The Bible said so. You are born again. You are anointed. But for being unwise in treating your wife. You pay the price with a closed heaven. That tight open. And then your disobedience shuts the heavens again. So a tightening wife Peter. Is plus one minus one what's the answer whatever you ask of me I surrender one of the ways to sow to the flesh is to think that God is an expert in inconveniencing and rubbishing your life you know many believers believe that when you hand over your life to God is a call to stupidity especially our generation what is with this you and church? Come, darling. What is you? You're a, you a fine lady. You're a wonderful lady. I mean, there's a, a rich man somewhere. What is this church thing? They are turning your head. Don't mind this stupid apostle around. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. A man can sow to the flesh, and I promise you, whether you stop, whether you scatter the soil, it will still grow because they are all fertile soils. Could it be? That many people, although the demons were casted, the discipline of conformity, discipline, the spirit of God will empower you 
but you must see the value of waking up in the night to pray as a principle that helps you confirm are we together don't sit down there and say lord the grace is not there it's raining this night is so cold and you just fresh you are not serious you have to speak you have to create your reality someone can meet you and say my dear you are a very beautiful lady there is a bar around god has granted you the grace you use your mouth and say no you can say well let's see how things go you have sown to the flesh there is a harvest coming when you get tipsy and a truck jams you that's the harvest where you snuff tramadol and you lie down by the bridge and mopole comes to carry you and they jail you for five years what that's called harvest say harvest shout it say harvest it doesn't matter how it came listen this is not being under the law get the point this is not being under the law God is not a fool he works with us physically if God tells me to bless you watch this now if God tells me to give you 10,000 if I say come and collect why do you come why do you get up and come and stretch your hand and say thank you you are participating it took discipline for that to happen are we together let me tell you this God can speak and say pastor alpha you will be a mighty man if you don't have the discipline of constraining yourself to conform to that word, you will keep seeing yourself raising wheelchairs in your dream till you die. You will never see it. There is nothing in the kingdom that does not require discipline. He said, he that warreth is not, he that strives for mastery, he said, is not crowned except he strives lawfully. There is no gift of fasting. Hello? Have you ever seen it in the Bible? There is no gift of... Whoever lied to you that fasting, your stomach will not... You will hear all kinds of noise while you are praying. You have to choose between the noise and your destiny. It's the discipline of conformity. Lord, if I stop fasting now, and this grace goes down, what of the people that will be blessed? No, I receive grace, I will pray. You think those who get up in the night and pray and those who fast, just a, a supernatural wind just blew somewhere. No, sir. I'm sorry to say this, but our generation is a very indisciplined generation. That's why we don't become successful. We don't take anything serious, not just God, even our destinies. Are we together? You start a business, you open your shop by 12. You close it by 4 at will. You may have a bottle of olive oil in that shop. I guarantee you, you will still fail. Because there is no discipline. Father, if it be thy will, take this cup off me. But nevertheless, nevertheless, it is within my power. I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it up. I have the power to keep quiet. I have the power to speak. When they talk against you, you have the power to keep quiet so that God will now arise and fight. Let's not throw everything to God and just make a fool out of our lives. You have the power to be disciplined. God has anointed you to be a good worship minister. You need to be disciplined to wake up in the night to pray and receive songs and write and edit and receive songs as a man of god you are called you need to be disciplined to sit down and take notes and research materials do you know let me tell you sincerely jordan is here and he will tell you do you know how many books i read just for this this series you won't believe it i listened to more than 11 to 15 ministries different perspectives not because i don't know anything about it why will you read so many books just for a series everybody say discipline please shout it i know you don't like it say discipline nothing just happens like that this is where many of us miss it there is a dimension of deliverance called the discipline of conformity you constrain yourself on the strength of what you are looking at 
There's too much distraction. You want to be great, but anything goes. Oh, someone is marrying somewhere. I need to run and go. Yet God is calling you a man of God. You have a conference in two days. You are there, one naming ceremony there. You are there again to cut, uh, to, to, to one of, you are, you are just moving up and down. And then you wonder why the power of God does not come. Discipline. There are times I am so tired, humanly speaking, let me tell you. Sometimes you see it. I can be so tired, the last two weeks I've been ministering every day back to back. You think if I have, if I have my way, what do you think I, I want to be doing now? Just find somewhere, somewhere and, and throw away my phone and, and shut my ears and sleep. It's called discipline. Yes, there is grace. But let me assure you, if you are not disciplined, you are abusing the grace of God. There are many funny graduates around just waiting and believing that with, with indiscipline and carelessness, they don't pay attention to conform to the terms of success. Insult anybody and believe they will prosper. My father is this. No respect for authority. No respect for anything. The discipline of conformity. Philippians chapter 3. We'll read from verse 12 to 15. Philippians chapter 3. Not as though I had already attained. This is Paul. Either were already perfect. The word perfect there is the word mature. But I follow after. That if I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus. 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. One of the sponsors of indiscipline is an arrival mentality. The moment you believe you have arrived, the deception of little results, the deception of little success. One thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and doing what? Reaching forth unto those things that are before me. 14. I... The first two words, please speak to me. I remember this was the guy that taught us the Pauline epistles. I press. I press. Have you read that place that the Bible says to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling? I press towards the mark. I press. I press towards the prophetic word. It is true. That God has told me you are a deliverer in this family. And the grace has come. That grace will make sure I must be on fire. So I press. I wake up in the night. Shaka patakata. Lord the mantle for the deliverance of this family is in my hands. While they are sleeping they can sleep. But I press. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Ah. Let every other name fade away. Listen. Listen. It will take you engaging prophecy through discipline. Otherwise, it will never come to pass. The ministry you have seen in the spirit, no matter how many demons are casted out of you, if you don't cooperate with the spirit to come to conform, you will never have it. You can sit down and see yourself building, building an estate. I saw an estate and I saw a spirit behind the estate. Apostle Joshua Selman can say, in the name of Jesus, that spirit go. The spirit has gone. But you do not sustain the discipline to sit down. That discipline may mean upgrading your mind. That discipline may mean you sitting and speaking every day. That discipline may mean you telling certain friends, look, I'm in a new season. I love you. I know we're from the same background, but honestly, I must leave you now. Discipline, I can tell you this from experience. You will never do business with God if you ignore discipline. I think. Don't just think, no, you have a right to do whatever you want to do. It takes discipline. 
to sit down and count the money and say in the name of Jesus I know that I, I have what it takes to complete this nice shirt but in the name of Jesus I choose to say no I love my tomorrow more than my yesterday I love my tomorrow more than today spirit of the living God I will I will I will walk with you I discipline myself it's better to be hungry today than to eat tomorrow's food today Are we together? The next time you admire someone with a mighty hand of God, let me tell you, among the many parts of the equation, don't just say he's lucky. There is discipline. I say this with all humility and not to brag. When I stand here by 7, I live here by 12, almost every Friday. It takes discipline. Do I have to do it? If I say I'm not seeing anybody, nobody's going to even say, Apostle, you have tried. I come and stand here and I go back home and it's not sleep that I'll sleep. Sometimes by five, I have to be up to catch a flight. Say discipline. Don't just say, Kai, God is increasing these people. Discipline. It takes discipline to see God's money and leave it there. Really rest upon your shoulder. I remember a few years ago, we went to a particular hotel, very nice hotel, went for administration. And I was preparing for the meeting. The hotel had swimming pools, had a lot of things. And these were wonderful people. I mean, when these guys saw this swimming pool, they were happy. They just went, they were swimming, they were playing table tennis. I was just watching them from my And I laughed. The luxury. But somebody is coming three hours later crying and say lord will you change my destiny and i swim away that person's miracle <laughs> there is a time to swim now it's not the time don't get me wrong there is a time to swim are we together discipline there are times that i go to minister somewhere and they prepare a very serious honorarium. And God says, don't collect it. Bless the people. Say discipline. It takes discipline to obey. Lay your hands on your head and say, Lord, take in discipline out of my life forever. Pray. Shabakato sadabalakata. Discipline of conformity. to take my destiny seriously the grace to take my assignment seriously the grace to take the destinies of others seriously that through discipline I can cast out devils from my life discipline in waking up early discipline in studies discipline one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press by faith as a sign that I believe my future. Hallelujah. Listen, please sit down. Thank you. If these three levels of deliverance doesn't happen to you, forget about possessing your possession the spirit may be casted out but your mindset will allow it to stay do you know for someone you don't have any spirit in you but this is the access point for others just discipline God told you that there is something you have to read in a book you bought that book since January till today and the spirit of God is waiting for you and you are saying Lord you've not brought your word to pass and God said no 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 I answered you since January the indiscipline to sit down I will go to Jordan's bookstore tomorrow uh, Jordan is this book around it will arrive next week you don't follow up all successful people whether in the secular or in this even those who drink and smoke they are disciplined forget all that acting they do they are very disciplined discipline with money there are people like that. God has casted the devourer but in discipline. You collect a salary of 30,000. You carry your friends immediately to a restaurant. 
and blow up 20,000 and wonder why the spirit of poverty still remains. Discipline. As a student, you are wearing a uniform of 10,000, 20,000 and all your parents give you in a month is 5,000. Same discipline. That's right. Same discipline. I don't cook. You are a student. I don't. It's not, I'm, I'm, it's not my thing. This, this, our pride is what in Africa especially is why these spirits never let us go. What of our parents? The discipline of getting blessed. Oh, sir, um, God is going to touch you, but can you be disciplined and just wait? Um, I'm not, mm, I, I can't do that. I can't. I, I, you want life to bless you at your own terms. That's a joke. Who for the joy that was set before him? What did he do? Endured. Endurance takes discipline. Have you seen people in a gym? Someone in a gym trying to work out. Have you seen people laughing in a gym? Except if they are producing videos for you to buy. But if, if they are in a gym, meaning be carrying all those things, look at the world heavyweight. Their faces become ugly and yet they are determined. While he's doing that, he's seen the trophy already. You need to see something that gives you the strength to not be distracted. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Hallelujah. You see a pattern in your family where all the women marry terrible and unserious men. Watch this now. Now it is true that you have been delivered. That spirit was casted out. Are we together? Please hold on. And then God now helps you to think well. And then God says, wait until my will comes. What does he tell you? Wait until my will comes. But in discipline, your body is itching. All of a sudden, one irresponsible guy just appears from nowhere and says um, uh, you know how things are don't keep waiting like this and you stand and God is telling you the choice is yours do you know if you get up you know the man is smoking you know he's drinking he says I don't smoke all the time once in a while I say, okay I can make do with that remember you are making a choice through indiscipline and God is watching but I'm supposed to deliver you I'm, I'm bringing you out I'm using you as a specimen and you say, God, I can't wait again. Please, I can't wait. If, if by March or by, by August, this guy, whoever shows up, the devil said, what did you say? Fine. Whoever shows up. And he will just go and drag one funny guy. And just because the guy is in church and he wore a tie and, and talking with belt does not mean that he's serious. And before you know it, through indiscipline. Are we together now? Through indiscipline, you now say, yes. I will marry you. Your father will say, I'm, I'm sensing that you are in danger. I said, Daddy, don't worry about me, please. Age is not on my side. And you marry and you find out that the same thing that happened to your elder sister has now happened. It was not the spirit. The spirit was casted. You paid the price to get a correct mindset. The information for your deliverance has been given. But the discipline of conformity was not there. Shout, I will wait. One of the hardest things for believers to do is to wait until the hand of God comes to assist you. This is not just in the issue of marriage. In the issue of job, God says, stay, I will direct you. The next thing you just hear that, okay, there's something somewhere. And you say, Kai, I don't, I'm ashamed. The last time I went for a wedding, I saw all my classmates. They were all in cars. And me, they were even asking, what are you doing? Pastor, you are still like this. And the next thing you jump. When, when the devil wants to destroy some people, he will make sure you get visa to US. Whereas your, the will of God for you is in Nigeria. And you smile your way to US out of the program of God. It takes discipline. It would never have been my desire to be in Zaria by this time. No. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. And I will Oh God, you are 
cast out the spirits and then you renew your mind by the power of God's word and then you obtain grace the grace that supplies the staying power many are the devices in a man's heart he said but the counsel of the Lord that alone shall stand there is a way that seemeth right unto a man it takes discipline to stay God do not let us go from here we, we, we know what Egypt uh -uh. do not let us go from here if your presence will not go with us we are not going and I'm sure they remain there and God said these guys are serious so. please be careful we have we have lost respect for the discipline of waiting till God speaks gone are the days where people can beat their chest and say I know God spoke today now people over intellectualize everything and we keep crashing and making nonsense out of our destiny you must cry for grace Lord if I would die here let me die waiting for you ah, and God said you are doing this for me you can put your ego on the line for me I will arise for you Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Yeah. Fill this temple with your presence. We wait on you sensitive now I prayed for a very strong angelic manifestation tonight and the Lord told me that once I got to this topic just this experiencing complete deliverance there will be very mighty angelic activities John chapter 19 please let's hurry up from verse 28 to 32 or to 30 let's stop at 30 experiencing complete deliverance this is good news. That means it is possible that a man, Jesus himself, how many of you know that his words are powerful? Jesus said, no matter what happens, there is a potential in the kingdom that a man can be completely free. He that the son of man sets free is free indeed. Apostle, this is good news. You mean after 100 years of captivity in my family, there is a way out. That there is a way out that I can say it is finished. Finally, the chain of barrenness. Finally, the chain of poverty. Finally, that people don't rise in this family. That there is a cause and a yoke. That a time can come in a believer's life where, like Jesus, you say, It is finished. Complete deliverance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The cause can go. Yes, sir. The barrenness can go. The failure, the retrogression. I saw my father go down. I saw my mother go down. So there is a way out in Christ. Jesus, the son of the living God, said it is finished. He opened a new one, a living way. A pathway that a man can obtain complete deliverance. Not up today and down tomorrow. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Sit down. We are not, we are not praying yet. That's why we kept the oil here. Because the oil too is hearing the sermon. 
I want to show you a mystery. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It is this revelation that makes deliverance a mystery. From part one to three to four, this is where we are coming to now. Listen and pay attention. And let me tell you, I want to show you how I was delivered. Get ready for my, I want to show you what worked for me. I am a testament of this. I would never be where I am today until God himself revealed this by his spirit. And I want to show you complete deliverance. Complete deliverance. I, truly I came with my heart open. I cried to God and I said, Lord, this, this thing has to go. Everybody shout, it is finished. Shout it again, it is finished. This is Jesus speaking. Not Angel Michael. It is finished. So he gave me access that it is possible. Oh, look how healing this is. And to me, did you know? Look, some of you here, as I'm talking now, you are just thinking of the mess in your background. That you have been crying and saying, Lord, it's just more deliverance I need. Hold on. Some of you here have counseled you. You come from backgrounds where your parents were priests directly. Not that they went to priests. Directly. There are territories here that were dedicated to all kinds of devilish idols. It is finished. I found this years ago. I told you about demons oppressing me. This simple scripture you see, when God shined it in my spirit, I was reading a book really, that's where it came from. But I said, Lord, I, I, I don't know, but this is what I'm seeing. And then God broke this thing down that I'm about to show you. Sit down, sit down, let's learn. We're going to pray. Experiencing complete deliverance. The first thing I want to talk about quickly and then I will show you the three ways is I want to teach you the legal system of the kingdom very quickly. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Please listen carefully. The, the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2. Mighty God. 26 and verse 2. Read with me. As a bird by wandering and as the swallow by flying. Uh -huh. So the curse, causeless, underline causeless, shall not come. Meaning, if there is no cause for it, it should not have come. If you ever saw any limitation in your life, there is a system of authorization. Because there is a law in the spirit that when a thing does not have a reason to come, it does not come. So the barrenness, the failure, everything has a reason. A curse, causeless, cannot come. If it ever came, something authorized it. There is the legal system of the kingdom. Redemption, as we know, was done on legal grounds. Jesus did not just come. The Bible says the soul that sinneth, it shall die. It's a law. God himself had to submit to that law. Are we together? It says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. So the son of God did not just become a man and came to the world. No. The Bible says by one man, sin entered. So it could not take a spirit to save men. It had to be a man. Jesus had to be a man. I want you to see the legalities that the son of God went through. Are we together? Jesus had to be 30 years to start his ministry. Because in Jewish custom, if you were less than 30, you were not considered a man. So it wasn't about his spiritual life. He had to wait and go through it until he was 30. Jesus could just fall from the sky. Like Elijah, the people say, Elijah the Tishbite. But Jesus had to grow in a woman's womb. And was born and cried and could die and grew from a young baby to a young child, teenager, adult, and all of that. He passed through it. There is a legal system 
in the kingdom. Let me show you something. Isaiah 41, verse 20 and 21. The verse of emphasis is 21. Isaiah 41. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Read 21 for me. One, two, read. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks to me like a lawyer's language. This is the Lord speaking. Produce your course. Bring the legal terms. Bring before me. So Abel said, I will produce my course. And the blood went to heaven and said, God, have you not said whoever destroys man, whoever kills by the, lives by the sword shall die by the sword? I did not live by the sword and now somebody has slain me. My blood was cried and God came and said, Cain, your brother's blood is crying. And he said, am I my brother's keeper? I said, don't talk that nonsense. Blood is crying. The legal system of the kingdom. God, as kind as he is, is teaching us how to make him bless us. And he said, when you pray, ask me to give you this day our daily bread. Otherwise, you will never eat it. This is God. Son of man, say to these dry bones, I'm waiting for you. If you don't say it, it may never happen. I, the dry bones did not move at the word of God. It moved at the word of God through the mouth of a man. He says, say to this dry bone. The dry bone, ah, you are now talking. No. Bring forth your strong, how many reasons? Bring forth your strong reasons. Why you think you should be the first graduate in your family. Bring forth your strong reasons. As to why you think that you should not fail in life. Look at me. You saw people went to school and the devil taught them like a lion. Bring forth your strong reason. Why you are the last born in your family and you believe that like Joseph, you are the one who will feed them. Bring forth your strong reason. I, when I saw this years ago, I said, my God, bring forth your strong reason. Don't just sit down and think it will happen. There is the legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. So let me teach you three steps now. Number one. You want to experience complete deliverance. Your first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. And all the demonic powers over your life. Or your family. Or your church. Or your destiny. Whatever it is. The first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. Break the legal hold. A curse causeless shall not stand. Barrenness causeless shall not come. Failure causeless shall not come. Delay causeless shall not come. If it is there, something is authorizing it. Your first assignment is to break the legal ground. This is where, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the powerful mystery of the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, my precious blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. eternal saving blood. Listen. When you are about to face the gates of darkness as a final onslaught, there is no other weapon that you can carry. The first weapon for true victory is the mystery of the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Five scriptures very quickly. Matthew 26 verse 27 to 28. Matthew 26. Matthew 26, 27 to 28. And he took the cup and gave thanks. And he gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament. The blood is done, is what? Is shed for many. Why? For the 
remission remission so a system has been initiated in the spirit remission the word remission means to blot out Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7 Ephesians 1 verse 7 then we we'll look at Colossians 1 14 read with me please 1 to read in whom we have redemption how so how does redemption happen please talk to me redemption redemption through the blood the forgiveness of sins it didn't say the forgiveness of your sins it doesn't matter whether it's your sins our fathers have sinned there is a system I used to think he said forgiveness of your sin. No. There is a mystery of atonement. Notice for those of you who cast out demons. Sometimes you see those. They just shout and talk. I won't go. I, no, 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 no. The blood for the forgive. Whatever ill. To sin means to miss the mark. Whatever happened around my life. Whatever happened around my lineage. That authorized darkness. There is a system of atonement. According to the riches of his grace. 1 verse 14 Colossians. Colossians 1 verse 14. Once again. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood. Even the what? I hope you know there is a law in the spirit that when you see the travail in the soul of your offender, your heart will be appeased. Look at this. Come, Sheol. If Sheol steals my handkerchief and they catch him, my satisfaction is in his punishment. Is that true? As they punish him, I now feel appeased. If they don't punish him, I feel bad. So the Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul. Who is the he? Not Jesus. Man in Christ. Because it was at the point of exchange. We offended the father. And according to this law, there is a requisite level of punishment that must have peace the heart of the offender. And Jesus said, instead of you and your father, let me stand in for you. So while they beat him and blood came out, the father watched, took his face away. And then the Bible tells us that he was seeing the travail. That means the yoke and the ordinances that they did. Remember, they murdered missionaries in your village. And ordinarily, until these things happen and they kill everybody based on that. Because their blood cries. But then, God in heaven will see those who offended the grandfathers that made the cause to come upon the family in Christ. The travail. And the father says, that's enough. I set you free. It is finished. Redemption through his blood. Even. So there is a kind of redemption called the forgiveness of sins. That your wrongs, your sins... If sins are forgiven, then the consequences they bring are also forgiven. And the authorizations they give is also forgiven. Are we together? Revelation chapter 5. Just follow me closely. Jesus grant us grace tonight. We have to be fast. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. Quickly please. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. And open the seals thereof. Uh -huh. For thou was slain. And has redeemed us. Unto God. How? By your blood. Out of every kindred. And every tongue. And every. And every. These are the four realms where causes exist. Look at this. Please go back to verse 9. Out of every kindred, every tongue, every people, every nation, everything was covered. We were redeemed by his blood. 
I hope you know that God ensured that Satan participated in the death of Jesus. That was the only way that the blood of Jesus could hunt him. When Cain killed Abel, who did Abel's blood hunt? So whoever killed Jesus is the person who the blood of Jesus should hunt. Had they known this, they would not have crucified. Who are the day? Satan alongside the principalities and powers. Satan, God made sure in his wisdom that they all participated in the death of the son of the living God. And then verse 10, he says, he has made us a kingdom of priests unto our God that we reign on earth. The last scripture, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10 to 11. Popular scripture. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, now is come salvation and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of the, not the heathen, the accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Next verse. And they, he had been cast down, but to appropriate the benefit of what has happened, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Listen, listen. The moment the mercy of God steps in, I've told you this. The moment the mercy of God steps in over an issue, my brother, my sister, listen to me. You know that car they call end of discussion. It truly is end of discussion in the spirit. The moment the blood factor comes in, notice that when the blood was put on the lintel of the people, it had nothing to do with their personal belief in God's deliverance. The moment the angel of death saw blood, even if it was Pharaoh, if Pharaoh's son entered one of those rooms where there was blood, he wouldn't have died. Even if he was cursing God from the room. The same stiff-necked people that cursed God later on were in that room. But because there was a covering of the blood, so every time we engage the blood many believers don't know how to engage the blood to engage the blood is not just to shout i plead the blood i plead the blood i plead the blood alone are we together it looks like it's drizzling or rain or so please if it is just let the people find a way of stationing them around we're, we're about to pray so we'll find a way of making it happen are we together now everybody say the blood so the first mystery that brings deliverance is the blood. When I had this revelation, I began to pray. And let me tell you, that was when I found the mystery of Psalm 51. They gave you that scripture. Psalm 51 was something that I forgot about that scripture many years. It was this year that God reminded me again. Psalm 51. Please give it to us. Our time is gone. Let's see how we can do justice have mercy upon me O god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression too let's just run it wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin three for i acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me four against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Listen, let me tell you. You can carry your family and in covenant stand as you make. This is not just about one man. It can be one business. It can be one family. It can be one church. Many believers will not believe this. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when, when thou judgest. Verse 5. You can read it down, down, down. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. And you read this scripture and cry the mercy of God. Listen to me. Nineveh was a land that was so depraved. When God sent Jonah, Jonah said, God, I'm not going. 
He said, I know you. I know you. I want to allow this thing to remain so that you will be angry and curse these people. I know that if I talk to them, you are merciful. They will now repent and you will act as if they didn't do anything that warranted punishment. And he ran away. He ran away for a justifiable reason. There was something about God that he knew. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Bible says he is slow to anger. So if my father or my mother went to sacrifice a baby and drain the blood to send me to school, and now there is a spirit that stands on legal ground, I can stand before God and knock on the door of mercy and say, Lord, I know that the soul that sins, it shall die. But do men die twice? Is it not appointed one for man to die? And after that, the judgment. And Lord, your son has died. And what judgment? No one condemns you if you are in Christ. And you stand on that legal ground. And God says, done. Done. It may have been 30 years, but done. Lord, I went to a herbalist myself because I was looking for a wife or husband. Lord, I went by myself. I wanted to pass exams. I went to Zaria City. I went and did this and that. Lord, I know that I did all of this. And you stand before him. And then the blood speaks. Every time the father sees the blood, Satan sees judgment. Every time you point the blood, to plead the blood does not mean to corrode it like a charm. To plead the blood means to bring to remembrance. It's not just saying, I plead the blood. To plead the blood is a revelation. Bring to the Father's remembrance the substitutionary work of Christ. And that the blood, the sinless blood of his eternal son that was given in exchange for my deliverance. Mm. That's the first thing I did. And that's the first thing anyone must do. If all you keep doing is in the name of Jesus, I'm free, you're in trouble. Pleading the blood entails a broken and a contrite heart. You see, let me tell you, there is a level of repentance that brings the hand of God to a man. It's not this arrogant, I plead the blood, Lord, just get up and break 250 years yoke of killing people in my, in my village in the name of Jesus. After all, you died. No. A broken, there is an attitude that makes the blood effectual. Are we together? The fact that the Bible says we should come boldly does not mean it says we should come arrogantly. Lord, I stand before you and I know that on my own I will never be able to make it. I watch my mother cheat people. I watch my father cheat people. I watch my siblings cheat people. Somebody lost a job because of his wickedness. It is true that as a family we deserve this. But Lord, I stand on behalf of my family. If my people, which are called by my name, although they are called by my name, it is not automatic. They must humble themselves and pray. And seek my face and turn from their evil ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. And I said, Lord, it's a deal. And I cried. I would never forget that night. Lord, let your grace and your mercy speak for me. My grandfather served you until he died. Even on his deathbed, he died for Jesus. In your anger, remember mercy. Lord, if you leave me the way I am, I will never make it in life. Lord, can the dead praise you? Let me show you how people touch the heart of God. Lord, if you take my life now and you allow witchcraft kill me, like it killed everybody in my family, can the dead praise you? Lord, if I give birth to children out of witchcraft, you are presenting your strong reasons. Lord, is it not you that has said you are a merciful God? I stand before you without argument. And God arises from heaven. Many believers do not know how to touch the mercy of God. It was the psalmist that would write everything he did on behalf of Israel. And say they should make a poem out of it. Let us with a glad soul mind praise the Lord. He said for his mercy is endure. He's ever faithful. He's ever sure. He will even say Sila. Think about it. I didn't go to God. 
with a bold face as a man of God to say, God, let me tell you something. My grandfather was a pastor. I love you. I, 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 I don't drink beer. I stand before you in my self-righteousness. Is that pride that kills people? Someone must go down on his knees and say, Lord, a cause causeless shall not stand. There is a reason why we are failing in this family. There is a reason why doors are not opening in this family. And Lord, I stand before you. Who else will I run to, oh God? Will you let men? See, be like the saints of old. They knew how to talk to God. Lord, will the living, will the dead praise you? If you pay me, if you do this, do you want them to say you brought people out of Egypt but could not take them to the promised land? And the Bible will say God repented. Have you heard that he said, come, let us reason together. That tonight someone can say, God, will the unrighteous and the righteous receive the same reward? What then is the value of your blood? And you would think you are joking and God is listening to you. Lord, is it a crime that I came from the north? Must I fail the failure? Is it a crime that I'm an Igbo man? Must I fail that failure? Is it a crime? I came from a Muslim background. Now I'm born again. It is true that I went to all kinds of Alpha and the rest. But Lord, will I receive the recompense of sinners? Bring before him your strong reason. And cry for his mercy. I did that. You appropriate the mercy of God in your life. Number two, in complete deliverance, you cannot downplay the power of words. Write it down. The power of words. Your words are a vital tool in establishing the victory of Christ over your life and situation. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37. Please, let's hurry up. I already sense fire burning in this place. We'll do this thing very fast. And we'll pray. Mm. Matthew chapter 12. Verse 37. Jesus said unto him. Matthew 20. Ch chapter 12. 12 verse 37. Matthew 12 verse 37. For by thy words. Thou shalt be justified. I will tell you what words. It's not any words. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. You know what the words are? Let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Let those who have become benefactors of his blood make that announcement in the realm of the spirit. That Satan, you heard my conversation with the king of glory. And it is unto him I have sinned. And he has decided to show me mercy. Therefore I decree and declare. That in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that I am free from all of these chains. The Bible says declare ye. It looks simple. We make declarations without appropriating the blood and the mercy of God. When it has to do with deliverance. The blood opens the door. And then your words. You sound that word to principalities and powers. Words. There's a reason why there was an echo. It is finished. Jesus didn't have to say it. He said it for a reason. And the curtain of the temple was torn from top to bottom. There is a new and living way that we can step in. I remember the Lord asking me to speak and say, son, begin to speak and denounce yourself from every walk of darkness and I began to pray I've obtained mercy I blot myself out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against me in the name of the Lord Jesus I obtained forgiveness I've been called out of every tongue I thought it was a joke until my life began to change in a remarkable way words are powerful for with the heart you believe and if you believe the blood speaks for you, then with the mouth, confession will be made. You don't keep quiet. The redeemed of the Lord speak. The righteousness that is of faith speaks. And then number three, complete deliverance. 
the ministry of the anointing yes sir yes sir the anointing Luke chapter 4 17 to 21 let's look at how Jesus announced his deliverance ministry the messianic prophecy and there was delivered to him the book of prophet Isaiah and when he opened the book he found the place where it was written 18 please let's hurry up the spirit of the Lord he's about to deliver now and he's showing us so before anything the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had helped me anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he had sent me to preach the, the to heal the brokenhearted he had anointed me to preach deliverance to the captives he has anointed me to recover sight to the blind he had anointed me to set at liberty them that are bruised 19 he had anointed me to preach the acceptable year of the Lord 20 we are reading to 21 and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all that were in the synagogue were fastened on him 21 and he began to say unto them this day when talk to me this day say this day that means from today don't be surprised when you see people free. It's what he was telling them. He said, I just read it. Meaning if you see demons flying, it's because an anointing is upon me. And today, that ministry starts. This is what Jesus was telling them. He opened the book and showed them. He said, I'm showing you from the book. So you are not surprised when you see a woman bound for 18 years, all of a sudden free. This day, I have come as a fulfillment of that scripture. Today, somebody's this day. Because the book has been opened. It is this day. The day the book is opened, that's your this day. The spirit of the Lord. Because he had anointed me. Anointed me. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. This day. This day. This day. And it shall come to pass. When? Notice that everything happens in a day. It shall come to pass in that day. What day? The day your faith chooses. That day. The Bible says if you, if you hear his voice this day. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. That his burden shall be taken away. Somebody will come and carry it away. That means it never will belong to you again. Notice two things that will be taken. A burden and a yoke. And the Bible says, and his yoke from off thy neck. He said, and the yoke. Mashana katoska barakatoshe. The yoke shall be destroyed. Not because you are tired of it. Because of the anointing. There is an exact anointing. That breaks yoke. It didn't say because of an anointing. There is a particular anointing. Now let me tell you this. Not every anointed man can deliver you. This is what I want you to get. There is the anointing. An exact kind of anointing. Just because a man of God prayed for you. I'm telling you this. Believe me. There is an anointing specifically ordained by God the same way there is an anointing that prospers the same way there is an anointing that heals there is a dimension of the anointing that is allocated for detonating yokes like a bomb that is supposed to scatter somebody that was put by a wicked man somewhere and you come and do something to it and then it becomes like toy like a piece of paper. How do you know you are delivered? Strange results. Instant results. Instant open doors. Let me tell you. Deliverance is one of the things that happen instantly.
my life changed like day and night. If I did ministry without this encounter, I would have been in for a rude shock. I found it. That there was a burden on my neck. There was a yoke. A burden on my shoulder and a yoke from my neck. I remember going to my village and passing around and seeing well-meaning people. Poor people. I saw how hard-working my father was. Very honest man. One of the most honest people I know in my life. Yet doors refuse to open. This man will rise up like this and crash as if God does not exist. They were the ones who trained us in the way of the Lord. I never saw my father carry one bottle of alcohol. Not once. My mother served God. She was so innocent. She didn't know anything about witchcraft. It was Nigerian film that made my mother know that there was something like witchcraft. She was that innocent. Yet nothing changed. But when I engaged the blood and I made decrees and this anointing fell from heaven. Are we together now? You see why I said they should keep these bottles here? It's not just because of a ritual. Let me tell you. Except God did not send me. When this oil touches your head, many of you will step into instant visions. Instant visions. Listen. You will, you will see things. All of a sudden, you will start seeing things that had happened before. And God will tell you this is where it started. The same way you go to bed. Hold it for me. Remember while you were doing your prayers, some of you kept seeing yourself. You were seeing where your problem started from. Secondary school, going back, seeing a lot of things. Look at the attack that happened. Some of you, all through while you prayed, you never saw anything good. Night after night, because Satan is a master of the flesh realm. I told you to just continue and don't mind him. The yoke shall be destroyed. I remember that anointing oil when I bought it that night. I left it open in the presence of God. I played Benihin worship from night, from, from morning till night. Soaking everything through my rechargeable. And when I did that thing, I was shaking like a leaf. I knew. There was like a physical mist in my room. And all of a sudden, I carried that oil. When that oil touched my head, that was it. I didn't even know where I was again. Alone in that room. I woke up many hours with strange visions. From that encounter, the revelations of ministry. I started writing like a madman. All of a sudden, doors. See, let me tell you. Do you know that everything that you have prayed for was answered but hijacked? By the time this door is open, it's an avalanche. Things would... Look, let me tell you the truth. I'm not joking. You will see people within a short time. A lady that nobody has a business of saying, I want to marry you. The Bible says that how many people will come to you. I know it was speaking about men. But all of a sudden, a brother that was ordained to be your husband. But these wicked spirits will blind and make sure that they don't see you. By the time this yoke is taken. That brother goes to bed this night and God says, what are you waiting for? Your wife has been before you for 10 years. The helper of your destiny, standing and watching you like this. But there had been a decree, never helping. And you find out, you will bring a friend, two of you will come to plead for assistance. They will help the friend and leave you. There are some of you here. With the kind of anointing God gave you, you should never be small. But you are even wondering why. I never call for people to come and they come. Something drives them. It was Bishop Oyedeko who was saying when Living Faith Church started. As anointed as he was and he is. Their heavens were closed. And they were fasting and praying. And the spirit of the Lord told him come out. 
and he came out and he looked and according to him he said he saw something that looked like a dark a thick layer of dark cloud and the lord told him this is the blindfolding layer that the devil put in the eyes of people to misrepresent what you are doing and then he told him to command it and he declared that a light shines in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it and he said that the, the thing just folded like that and he produced a poster with testimonies and wrote come and see that was it living faith took another dimension till tomorrow when i caught this revelation that was when i saw that publicity was spiritual at the point I said it, people thought it was a joke. I don't mean to brag. I'm not saying posters are wrong. You go around this city, you are not going to find one poster. But we will shift a meeting just by a simple announcement. Shift it and people will come. You try that and tell people shift it and people say, ah, that's it, I found a reason. There is an anointing. When the yoke breaker comes and sits and his weight rests upon your life i'm telling you anything that is not him must give way are you ready to pray now rise up on your feet oh, oh, oh. Jesus please pray in the name of Jesus I declare that tonight is my night I declare that everything that Jesus Christ did for me on the cross it must be appropriated in my life tonight therefore I declare that every yoke, every spell, every curse, every ordinance speaking against me and against my loved ones, tonight I command that you are leaving me. Open your mouth and pray. Please take it serious. Where 
wherever you are, just pray, pray. Sabaratoka shanamana na bakata. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I stand on behalf of myself and my family. And I declare that everything that the devil has taken away from us, we command that it must return tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Everything. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it. La capara catosha da cataca da cotos. Sapra toco, so take it, take it, take it. Come on, believers, pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. You spirit, you spirit behind the tragedies in my life. Say every spirit behind the failures in my life, behind the delay in my life, behind every retrogression, behind every closed door. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Tonight, your legal hold is broken by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit behind the circles of failure. The spirit behind the circles of defeat. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen to me. Please let me plead with you. I know that you can see that it's past nine. Please. I know today's service may take a few minutes, but I'm pleading with you for the sake of your destiny. Just be patient with me and let's address this thing this night. Are we together? Please don't let the devil. Many of you will find out right now that you are having the urge to just go. It's a spirit. It's because the spirits are about to be challenged. You may come with someone now as I'm talking. He wants to ease himself. He wants to cough. It's a lie. It's a spirit. I'm about to challenge something now. Hallelujah. Now, listen. This is what will happen. I'm going to pray on this oil. Please listen to the instruction, everyone. Those online, just get a bottle of oil so that while I'm praying, you can connect. If you are with your family members, get a bottle of oil. Even if they are sleeping, just touch their head. Please make sure everybody is touched by this oil. Are we together? If you have faith and you think you will not be embarrassed, you can even, the little oil that is in your hand, you can just place it on your stomach. Ladies, prophetically, you are touching your children unborn to say, no devil, no devil. John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Are we together? Praise the Lord. By the time, by the time this oil, we are going to be fast. Now, because of the way it is, um, we are going to station, I believe, are there tables around outside? Or if there are not tables, at least there are, there, are, there are people who will stand. Now, this is what you will do. Please, we are going to coordinate. It's going to be very fast. There might be people falling under the anointing. We'll just help them. Please manage, help the usher so we don't injure anybody. Now, what I want you to do for me, please, just obey instructions. By the time we bless this oil, just a little of it, touch it on your head. If you have a little one, 
you can touch it on their head and then go back to your seat and start blasting in tongues till you are done. Don't pray anything in understanding. Are we together? Just go back to your seat under the anointing or not. Just find somewhere and pray in the spirit. And by the time I'm done, I'm going to lead us into some serious spiritual prayers and speak over our lives. And then you will go to bed and let's watch the God of heaven surprise you. Are we together? Please, anything that can spoil, carry it out of the way. Please, let's be fast. Father, in the name of Jesus, you anointed me. And Lord, it is time for your people to rise. This is ordinary oil. But in the name that is above all names, the Lord is asking me to put my hands in all the oils. In the name of Jesus Christ, I put my hands prophetically upon every one of this oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let it be an extension of the grace that comes with this office. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place my hand upon this oil. Father, we have had many anointing services in this place. But in the name that is above all names, I command this anointing oil to carry the yoke-breaking anointing. Let it carry the anointing for strange and total deliverance. Whoever must die as a result of this prayer, as this oil comes upon your head except God did not send me a sword of judgment will search for them and bring them to the grave if there is any physical agent that has held your destiny and said for as long as I'm alive you will not move people of God I stand before you and I tell you by the message of the grace that I've received God will not only take away that destiny their life will pay for it in the name of Jesus Christ please cover them strategically father in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit everyone under the sound of my voice Lord as they come under the influence of this oil I decree and declare that let the fire from heaven not only fall upon their life but turn every situation that must be changed around in the name of Jesus for those online I pray for the various oils you are carrying in the name of Jesus as you anoint yourself and your loved ones let the embargo of darkness no matter how long it has been let it break now and forever in the name of jesus christ god bless you please let's have people let's have them come quickly quickly you can start coming um just coordinate them i, I honestly don't know how we're going to do it but we we'll have to find a way yes you can find a way of even if it's for you to come and we can start from here and then you come and go or do whatever it is please very very quickly Make sure you are praying in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen. Listen. I want you to pair yourselves into two. Very quickly. Just find someone. Find a neighbor somewhere. <laughs> in the next. Our time is gone. But in the next three minutes. All I want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just blast in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Just go ahead and pray. Shabata katabara katoka shadabala
that trees grow. Therefore I declare, according to the law of seed time and harvest, let my harvest locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray. Sabadagatos, ketabrakatos, let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. He said, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee in the way that you should go. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus, I declare that these hands that are stretched towards me right now become the hands of fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put your hand on your belly. Just put that hand there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Put your hands there. The Bible says, For out of your belly shall flow rivers. Say in the name of Jesus. Every treasure within me, as I lay my hands, I declare, Come out now. Lift your voice and pray. Every treasure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to round up. Don't mind all the prophetic acts you are doing. I want you to just trust my leadership in helping you get results. Are we together? Are we together? I'd like you to stand where you are and say in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the north. Say it, I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. Everywhere my help has been ordained to come from. In the name of Jesus, I call you. Locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God, but it passes through men. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Just place your hand again on your head. Now, you are finished praying. Let me pray now. Any spirit that comes with ancestry, any spirit, hear my voice. You are a product of ancestry sent and programmed for the, from the fathers to oppress the people of God right now by fire i declare by fire i declare by fire release their glory now i declare by fire every legal ground i break it now in the name of jesus christ
the spirits of delay that sit upon people's destinies so they don't move forward right now in the name of Jesus may the power of the Holy Ghost through this oil you have made contact with command those devils to live now the spirits of barrenness not just biological barrenness that makes that nothing works in your life you study you go and write exams you fail you get money you do business you fail you get a job they fire you in the name of Jesus I command by the power of the Holy Spirit may that devil live your life now and forever ladies I'm praying for you now there is a spirit that draws only married men or wicked ungodly men to certain sisters they don't know why no responsible person comes to you right now in the name of Jesus if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is in this category I command that devil come out of them now come out of them now come out of them now any spirit husband any spirit wife any demonic entity manipulating you in the night coming to oppress you in the name of Jesus I declare now be released in the name of Jesus be released in the name of Jesus be released in the name of Jesus there's anyone here I say it again you always have dreams seeing yourself in your former house seeing yourself in your secondary school seeing yourself repeating something you have already done Shakos Kapakatosha right now I shift you speed to your life I cause the spirit of delay speed to your life I cause the spirit of delay speed to your life I'm praying for people here every year or every two two years or every three three years the same pattern repeats in your family either someone dies or someone loses their job or something happens right now the yoke that creates patterns I stand in the name of Jesus and I break it from your life I break it from your life by the blood of Jesus I break it from your life the moment something good is about to enter your hand you go to bed and you have a dream something strange happens and you lose that thing it must find a way of leaving you I pray for you now in the name of Jesus everything that makes sure that you see things but never handle them I cast that spirit from your life now I cast that spirit from your life now I cast that spirit from your life now hallelujah I want to pray for you now whatever pattern you saw in your parents and you are seeing it now in your life it could be poverty it could be hardship it could be failure Jesus declared that it is finished by the blood of the eternal covenant he declared that it is finished therefore I stand right now I separate you from any pattern in your life that is tied to your lineage in the name of Jesus Christ Let your heart be open. No, 
don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen i believe him i may not claim i know everything about him but this god when god decides to stand up from his throne he said now arise from your throne god can stand up have you heard that the earth is his footstool so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my god is mighty our own belief many times is the reason why god does not move we come and sit down and pile up some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful but you are there wondering can you move oh god concerning my money can you move concerning my money can you move concerning my health can you move concerning my wife and god is saying yes i can i am willing and i'm able and then the devil comes very quickly and says if god could move did the man of god pray for you in by march didn't your pastor fast seven days for you and you say it's true oh, that's the devil tonight your faith must be open your faith must rise to the heavens to say lord i don't want to leave this place just knowing i'm blessed i want to know what happened to me i want to hold a substance god is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting god for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade, there were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore, whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba, I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came i knew that i got it i knew that i got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together 
the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute i like you to open your mouth and cry mention specifically why are you here talk to the lord please pray please pray pray with all your heart Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. <laughs> I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty 
I will continue to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. The messianic prophecy. Jesus' own manifesto. He's saying, this is what I came to do. Isaiah 61. It says, the spirit of the Lord. We are reading from verse 1 to 4. Is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all those that mourn. Three. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Four. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair waste cities, he says. The desolations of many generations. I'd like you to pray. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family, insist that tonight is the night when it will happen. Overflow one, pray. Overflow two. Overflow three, by the roadside. Those following from around the world, open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart. hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just passed like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer. I know overflow one, the overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in overflow one, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside. Now, listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing 
on one leg. Am I moving? Yes, sir. But when will you arrive there? The pressure that you will mount on this leg, it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it. And so God, when he wanted Elijah to move, because he had already been delayed, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you that within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus, let that anointing right now. I shift men. Speed, Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay. Be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. Speed! Speed! In the name of Jesus, I command everything that has refused to move in your life I move it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. The Holy Ghost is moving you. Except this prayer is not for you. There is an anointing that must shift you. Must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, shift them to their destinies. Please, you will need to help the ushers. Whether you are an usher or not, just, just help them. There's only so much we can do. There's no power that keeps you down. This is miracle service. Lift your hands, please. I'm praying. For some of you now, it's the same prayer. But it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. Oh, 
No more delay. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road. I stretch my hands right now. I move people. God is moving people here. I decree, I declare, I decree, I declare, I decree, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it must work for you. I shift you. No more delay in your life. This lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names I declare every spirit that has caged any family here I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and at the count of three everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of Jesus I crush Satan I crush his works inside outside I command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. 
I'm coming this way right now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming this area this direction let them go now release them I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost let them go now let them go now release them I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach release them now let them go in the name of Jesus let them go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I stretch my hands here right now the fire of God is setting people free now lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them now lose them lose them in the name of Jesus lose them now those outside lift your hands God is about to set you free please I like you to pray everyone pray enough is enough tonight everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of Jesus hear me the Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as I pass here I don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now I stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katanika Egeto Satarikata Embreketo Sheketa Akato Shekriaka Manta Brekotos let them go 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 now the spirit of sorcery I cause it now the spirit of witchcraft I cause it now please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves go go be free I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here I want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow to lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as I pass this place listen I want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow to please help your neighbors I'm only going to pass here right there as soon as I come close to you except God is not God if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry he must go right now right now in Jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now I command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them I break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i didn't know we have an extra overflow here i want to pray for those by the side here as i stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time i'm seeing fire already here in the name of jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the holy ghost i release you please help them so they don't injure themselves i declare i decree and i declare you are free praise the lord overflow three your life is about to change listen listen honestly there is there is an anger in my spirit because as i entered i'm just seeing chains everywhere right now in the name of jesus at the count of three bring all of them out from the front to the back right now at the count of three overflow three all of you shout jesus one two three every power bring them out 
Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, 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 be broken now. 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 Chains be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three. Lift your hands. I'm still praying. Listen. I'm seeing. I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now. I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me I'm coming back, but I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder, but that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen, but a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night, and in that in that dream someone will come to sleep with you or something will happen right now at the count of three shout jesus i command those devils one two three let them go now let them go now total emancipation hallelujah now now all those who are under the anointing here outside i pass a decree that every power that has held you i speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now. Hallelujah. I'm inside this place now. And I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. And the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shagatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shabrakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the Spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here. 
entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen i'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break the force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. 
receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life I decree and I declare it over your life I stand by the anointing and I pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of Jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste that time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do i'm going to pray for you you are not from this place you came for nyc I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy All of you open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything you desire, overflow three. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now right now be broken now
please everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray hold on there's someone here the lord is saying i'm rolling away your shame i'm seeing light as i was just passing i just saw light two people let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of jesus christ who is gabriel 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 i'm hearing a name who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around uh, where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it poleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from Ben you are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you. Come quickly. Please. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory. What do you do, my friend? You are a student. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on you. husband and wife. Yes, Jesus. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So my friend, you love God, eh? but you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, no, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives walk by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real low. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters 
wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so God is, you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful. Because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help. But it doesn't mean, imagine that I look at this lady now and say, my dear, you're a witch. No, this is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it, beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. It takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here. You find out for instance. The moment you enter a relationship. Come for instance. As you mean I enter a relationship with this lady. And you find out that there may be something wrong in her life. And it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business. But just because I married this lady. I start going down. And now you meet a man of God. And if, the man, if you are in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, Ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, Oh, there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands. But it doesn't mean she's bad. A good man of God will bring about that separation. And then through the transforming power of the word, now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we're going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father Hold it with both of your hands. I decree and declare. Ah! Halushiaka prahasku de bakatuskia. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State, now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you, even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is in the name of Jesus? The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus, madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke, complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but ah, you please come. Ah. This is your first time coming? I need to pray for you. What do you do, ma? You are jobless, ma. Huh? I'm looking at you. And I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, two of your hands are tied. There is nothing you do that works and prospers. It's not normal. You are a very good woman. Please don't be embarrassed. I hope I'm not embarrassing you. I want to pray for you. I give you three weeks, 21 days, ma. Your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and i declare i'm seeing chains leaving you i command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands
in the name of Jesus Christ I open that closed door now I open that closed door now by the power of the Holy Ghost please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray the Lord is asking me to stand here just here just to stand here because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here here and here right now here and here I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit every planting that is not of God I uproot it now I uproot it now I uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah praise the lord i know our time is gone we're going to be very fast sir you're welcome sir can i pray for you sir why are they here priest you sir you are a priest i served my father served and died and sorry where are you from sir i'm from my lorry sir i want to pray for you the bible says even the lawful captives even the lawful captives my brothers and my sisters you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service this this woman come madam you yes come please quickly come we're out of time say in jesus name say it in jesus name my life is about to change say it again say in jesus name reproach is leaving me now in the name of jesus let it go forever in jesus name sir i hold your hands and in the name of jesus every ordinance that is not of god help him i command that it is broken right now you are an elderly man but i use you as a point of contact we break every ordinance of darkness this this lady too priest you your dad your father is a priest currently oh where Oshun state don't be embarrassed eh? you are here because jesus wants to help you lord jesus it is not your will that any man perish but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth i deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus hi jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god a father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now huh? in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this this because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick. Or... My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. 
your life is about to change come where are you coming from you are coming from abuja yes, i'm here with my husband husband yeah. where are you sir let's clap for the husband two of you came from abuja time you came with for som came. i can't remember you came with you oh your son was a graduate of som no we came with him oh okay so graduate. i want to pray what do you do sir um i'm a minister of god i'm a business boy so sir i want to pray for you eh? things are not working you need the anointing you are a sincere man my dear the prophetic grace is coming on you as i'm speaking now in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands that anointing you will start having dreams receive that grace two of you need empowerment ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, oh. I want to pray for you ah. madam I'm looking at you you're a nice woman but I'm seeing you carrying a load huh I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head and if I don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you I want to pray for you where are you coming from are you new here uh, by Elsa by Elsa hmm. all the way I think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor you're a pastor you are in ministry, both of you? Evangelist, my ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You are an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now you're serving someone else's church okay i want to pray for you because what i see god do through your life i'm seeing god giving you two things the grace for leadership number one number two the grace for finances these two graces god is giving it to you i don't know you sir i'm seeing you for the first time ma you're an evangelist i'm going to pray for you what do you do you hold crusades and all of that no, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio, I have a live radio, I do my evangelical on radio and then... Oh, you do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching, me too I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight 
evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers i'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back this thing i'm seeing is going to be a powerful program there is a program in abuja that looks like what you would do it's called when women pray i'm seeing that same kind of grace on you that you are going back to bielsa and god is giving you uncommon grace for women in the name of jesus i decree and i declare you carry that grace right now madam my god will honor you ah in the name of jesus supernatural grace drink of that wine sir i'll pray for you the grace for leadership the grace for finance but i'm ah, it's not only pastoring i'm seeing you do what else do you do i manufacture paint you manufacture paint that's right sir what am i seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands i take away every limitation from your life and i decree and i declare your life turns around from today in the name of jesus give jesus praise goodness 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 can we still pray for the sick we can't close this without praying for the sick In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus, go now. In the name of Jesus, you go and write your test, bring back your results. It's gone. Listen, I, can we? Our time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal. Maybe I'll just pray. I'll just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you the power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly, please. Lay your hands now. I want to pray. 
Jesus. A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the Holy Ghost eye conditions in the name of Jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that Please check yourself very quickly and come. We may not take all the testimonies, but at least let's take a few. While we are doing that, let me have all the prayer requests very quickly. God bless you. Check yourself quickly. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? The Lord is touching people. Show them where to come. 
Look at, look at God touching people already. Please make your way. Make your way. The power of God has touched you. Those outside, overflow one, overflow two. Clear the way for them. Just come. You can stand on the queue there. And let's have one or two testimonies. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles here? Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on. You... Just a moment. Please. All make sure if, if, if your prayer request has not been collected, please, I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If, as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people. And I want you to make your way and then come to. Okay, go ahead, Pastor Alpha. My God, the... God is still touching people. I'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three. Overflow three. Check yourself right now and make your way. Yes, please. You go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain. She's been having the problems this last month, back but pain. she's healed now. How long come, my dear? Let's have another mic, please. Anytime we're doing this, please, technically, it should be a standard procedure. You should know what we're doing, please. So that we don't delay unnecessarily. How long, my dear? Since last month. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in Jesus' name, I declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in Jesus' name. Give Jesus praise. Deafness in the left ear since 2012. Since 2012. Oh, come on, Koinonia. How long, my friend? A man of God told me about it in 2012 and I prayed, but I was hearing those B sounds. And I don't hear really. Well. Which of them? The left ear. Put your hand there now. In the name of Jesus, it never, never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. All, sir. You mentioned also, also how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, no, biologically biologically where yeah. are you from i'm from each but i got i mean I'm from state. there's a reason why i said this there's a lot you don't know where you are from there is a long story leave the issue of healing now where eh? i need to pray for you don't feel bad huh Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you. Eh? Father, help this gentleman. Because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now. And I declare be free in Jesus' All name. Sir, Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower, lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain is gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. Years. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing, and your destiny arises it's a wise bargain is that true in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare never again in your life the power of god is coming on someone in overflow one overflow one please carry the person and bring the person overflow one the overflow by the roadside Overflow 2, sorry. Overflow 2, I meant to say. Ah, 
Look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say, She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? Seven. 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain. That back she pain. Had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a horse. Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't <listen>. She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry, do your horse thing. Eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected in Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of Jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but the don't pain believe is gone. that thing oh in the name of Jesus I cancel it forever amen. say amen by the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Amen. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing, but you watch what that play will do in your life. And she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic ulcer. How long? I'm here now. Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Feel, press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay. you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it 
happened once, August, August 26th. You just slumped like that? Yes, I was falling and then my brother caught me. Come. What if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge. Then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In Jesus' name, I set you free. You are free now. You are free forever. In Jesus' name. Back pain disappeared. He's had back pain for a long time. Back pain, sir? Yes. In Jesus' name, let it go and go forever. Never to return again. In Sometimes the two eyes go blind. Other times only the right one go blind. But now he's totally healed. He can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come. In the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person. Doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it. Right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37. The bones coming back. He a restoration of it in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.